Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Fallout. We are on Season 1, Episode 3, and last time on, the Ghoul and Maximus just destroyed Philly. Lucy and, um, oh, I forget the doctor's name. The scientist guy. Ben Linus from Lost. Michael Emerson, what's his name? Will Zig. Will Zig. So the Ghoul stole the dog for, uh, Lucy and Will Zig went... They're going towards Moldaver, who has Lucy's dad captured. She's hoping to exchange Will Zig for her dad back. She just had to chop off Will Zig's head, which I guessed I, they wouldn't waste this actor. I think he's going to be still alive, maybe a head in a jar at some point. He injected something in him where I don't know what it's going to do to his brain, but it's got to be something very important. It, it's probably he's probably going to be alive still even with his head chopped off. There's just no way. This is Fallout we're talking about. Uh, but yeah, lots of really cool stuff happening right now. So many game Easter eggs. I wouldn't even call them like, are they even Easter eggs? It's one to one. This is the game's universe brought to life. So it's like, it's not an Easter egg. You're just in Fallout. Uh, but yeah, so many things that you could just like point out and be like, ooh. So that makes me really happy. But anyways, we're gonna hop into episode three here. Leave a like, subscribe. We're on the road to 20,000 subs in 2024, so hopefully we can hit that with your guys' help. And that's it, let's hop into it. beginning okay first episode is the end all right a little bit of ghoul backstory this is what i want obviously in a movie i think <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> do i really have to kill him cuts Perfect. Uh, Emil, can you come over here and talk to you cool. for just a second? I, I gotta talk to you. I love how his outfit's kind of almost like a vault I, I, tech sure. outfit. It's the same colors. Well, why can't I just arrest a guy like I normally do? do that's what, what I do. The audience, Coop. I yeah. know, Emil, that's not what I do. I mean, is Bob, uh, Bob around here anywhere? That is who he becomes in the wasteland. That's crazy. You know, a lot of people like to write it off as some old lady flavor, but it's subtle. No, roses are Thank old lady. You. Smells. Tastes like Ooh. someone touching you for the first time. He's allergic. Yo, that looks really good. Oh, horrible. Daffy? <clears throat> um, Is that the kid? Oh. Please, mommy. Sure, oh. sweetheart. Mm. Ah, I see. I thought he just randomly met this woman right now. <laughs> Sorry. Lipstick. What's that? They even made it in your color. Let's see if it fits. Hey, they got the little robots over there. Codsworth. Codsworth 2.0. Oh, gosh. I wonder if he's confused at all by this. <laughs> Why take the head? <laughs> he has to inject himself with stuff. Uh, wow, she left a pretty... Obvious trail. Come on, let's go find the rest of them. Not really much you could do out in the desert, though. I like this. Every logo has been different. Very cool. <laughs> She's just carrying his head. Ugh. Not gonna put it in your bag or anything? That is awful. 20 miles with his head. Ooh, that looks good. Oh. What is so special about you? I'm surprised she's like so used to this right now. Oh, there it is. Okay. Keep your secret, sir. Tracker. It's like a map marker. Ah, they made that silicone thing really realistic. Snug as a bug. She literally bugged him. 
Copy that. We'll get you a replacement, Squire. Right away. No. No. I'm okay. All good here. I'm surprised he's not just telling the kind of truth about him being the new person that took over the armor. I love how he's strung it up on basically the same stand you have in the game. I can fix it. Cost you five caps. That's pretty cool. You're having those sharp caps in your boot. That's crazy. Maybe he'll find one on, on the ground. The ghoul just kind of threw them. We buy teeth. Oh, gosh. It's extra if you do it fast. That's sad, man. Thanks. That's it? He just pulled a tooth for that. Oh, my gosh. That's awful. No. They're taking his armor. Step away from the armor. <laughs> his voice. He only got like one cap for his tooth. That's crazy. Yo, where's his gun? Why didn't he have it on him? It's in the armor. Oh, <laughs> dude looks like Frodo. I, I really should have brought a gun with him. <laughs> Gonna see some melee combat. <laughs> uh oh, a toilet and a wrench, or something. <laughs> but they're always asking me about you, darling. I love how much music they put in this oh. during every scene. His gun's in there. Yeah, yeah. No? Oh, <gasps> oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that effect. Uh, even he was surprised. Oh my gosh, dude. The gore in this is done so well. I mean, it's on Prime. It's like the boys. Oh. They looking for him? Another squire. Oh, that's that one guy. We've, we saw him, I think. He's gonna say some terrible stuff about Maximus, isn't he? As if he knew him or something. I'm honored to be in your charge. <laughs> I'm about to protect and serve you, whoever you deem fit. Dude, dude's reminding me of Kang so much. I want this guy to play Kang. Oh my gosh. He would actually be perfect. Look at him in the mask. Don't power trip too much, man. From the Elder Cleric. We're not the only ones in search of this remnant from the old world. The Elder Cleric says whoever gets the target will control the wasteland. And uh, uh, we are to kill whomever stands in our way. Does the dude have nuclear codes in him? In his head? I don't know. To control even more nukes? Hollywood. Oh, there we go. She wrapped him up. The map. Ah, I love it. I'm gonna play Fallout after this. I'm gonna go back and play some more. <gasps> Aww. I really thought it was gonna turn around and have like 10 faces or something. The, the color palette on, on this show is amazing as well. It's not washed out like you'd think a Fallout show would be. Like the blues are very bright and blue, like the, the, the water here. Her outfit. Is it in the water over there? There's rippling. Yep, it's in the water. Ugh. Oh, the little deer. She needs a real weapon. Oh, this is the thing from the, the trailer. It's the head. <sighs> Uh-oh. Lots of radiation. Did he catch up to you? Oh, he did. Is that what the radiation thing going off was? Because he was near. Oh, I gotta do it like that. Okay. Okay, I, I don't know where it is. Okay? I lost it. I lost it. It's not treating you any different for being a ghoul, so that's nice. You should keep her around, man. 
What the heck is that? I don't recognize the monster that took it. Gulper got it, huh? A Gulper. Okay. I don't remember that from Fallout, but maybe it's something new, or I just don't remember. Three vaults stronger together. That's cool. Escape? You and Chet put your sister in incredible danger by helping her out that vault door. You've worked janitorial, you've done kitchen duty. Are you aware that at every job you've been assigned to, your performance review has been lax enthusiasm? No, but that sounds accurate. Serving the prisoners. You're welcome. They all just share a cell in there. Oh, is he trying to get him killed? Dead. Keep looking. Yeah, you could just like shake it. I will find you. Fuck. I know you wanted an apple. He's so loyal. Oh, uh, I have some, some rations. If you're hungry. I'm not hungry anymore. Oh, okay. Okay, you don't gotta mistreat these people like this, man. I have an artifact to retrieve. Let's go. If we find the ghoul, we find the target. You left the ghoul alive. Great idea, sir. <laughs> Great idea. Radiation trails. By allowing the ghoul to live, you've made it possible to trace the whereabouts of the... Hey, maybe this guy's gonna be useful. Yes, right. I know that. <laughs> Well done. They make a great team. Hopefully Maximus soon realizes he can't do everything on his own. He's not all that. I think this was him? Wow. Hard to tell. Yeah, that's, that's definitely him. <laughs> and, uh, bring the body back. Definitely. <laughs> Ghouls. One of the brotherhoods is gonna eradicate I love this duo. Well. Should be... <laughs> the foot tracks. Yeah, definitely this... Um, what is he doing to her? My dad, he, he's an overseer. Maybe just bait? He got taken by raiders and I need the head to get him back. Oh gosh, this is terrible. Reel her back in. Stop! Torture is wrong! <laughs> Torture is wrong. She's too nice for this world. I personally noticed her. Ugh. I decided up to you. Oh. Let her up, let her up. He's, she's been down there a while. That's it. Oh, oh, the anchor. Oh no, it's stuck. Oh, I don't think he wants to kill her. Get her up. There you go. She was down there a while. Oh my gosh. Wow, that looks really good. Looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> that is bigger than I thought it was. There is no way. <sighs> uh. Oh. Did it dissolve her shoe? Just ripped it off, I guess. Oh, no. Okay, okay. So it's probably in its stomach, the head. Yo, not again. Oh, just on a leash. Thou shalt get sidetracked by bullshit every goddamn time. <laughs> that is true. He ain't mine. <laughs> I love that. He don't have time for side quests. Or he does have time, he has to go on one to go get his uh, meds back. Sorry, I've been derelict of my duties here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, just refilling your water bag so you can stay hydrated. It's not like you. He's not gonna try to take the armor, man. You're a uh, former squire. How did he die? You knew him. I, I, I did. I knew he would start talking about him. Well, he uh, he was a good guy. There's something negative about him. <laughs> I like it, the way he's going about this. To be honest, me and the other guys used to be pretty hard on him. 
I'd like regularly beat the shit out of him. It wasn't personal, you know? Oh, he was the bully? Just... Oh, yeah. Well, you know, people at the base, they used to beat the shit out of me all the time. That's a funny idea. What if we beat the shit out of that guy instead? Yeah. Yeah, I was really popular. Dang. Right. Yeah. I just wish he lived long enough to find someone else to beat up, you know? Only seems fair. <laughs> he kind of did. Uh, I feel bad. Don't feel bad. I wonder if to Maximus, Maximus has died and he's just night titus now. I wonder if he's going to soon feel that way. I like the addition of Thaddeus. I feel like I've seen him in a funny role or he just reminds me of some other actor. That looks exactly like him. These guys are the worst leaders. <laughs> I think this conversation would benefit from some actual ideas. Well, you know what? The young man Woody interrogated this morning? He left an impression on me. That is the gentleman who showed me his butthole. Yes, but what I took from that is a desire Bucky. to commit. That's probably his way of like giving a handshake or something. Overnight. Integrate them in. Based on what I saw this morning, it may take years. But, but there is nothing we can't do when we I mean, to it. Oh gosh, that could be so bad. It is a bad idea. It's a terrible idea. But I've seen it work in other things. In Walking Dead, I mean, they reform some of the worst of the worst people ever. And eventually, like a six-year time jump happens and they're, they're pretty good people. But these are, uh, I don't know if it's going to work on these raiders, though. We can do what they would have done to us. Wow. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Young Norm was just expressing a feeling. I think Norm would do good out in the wasteland. It's, it's, it's the type of thing Overseer McLean would have preferred to discuss uh, privately uh, before bringing it to the full group. Well, he's not here now, is he? Let's hear it. Oh. Okay, well, uh, the water chip is destroyed. The vault only has <laughs> enough water to keep our population alive for uh, good. <laughs> and, and that's not accounting for the prisoners. Okay. That's fine. That's enough. Thanks, though. <laughs> they don't care. They just care about keeping the people in peace. Ooh. Oh, this man might die here. Uh, we're definitely picking up an abomination of some kind or another. <laughs> oh, gosh. It was my mistake. If you let me lead the charge, I'll lead the charge. Really? Go right ahead. Get back to shore. But sir, go. Yeah, he actually cares about him. Yes, sir. Oh gosh, zero perception. <laughs> Shoot a missile in its mouth. Uh, do you got those? I don't know. Oh. Huh. Thaddeus, Chaddeus. Oh no. You better save this man. <laughs> the high pitched scream. It's okay, he'll take a while to get digested. The teeth don't look so sharp. Open his mouth, go. Like King Kong. <sighs> that is really bad. Are those fingers? Oh yeah, they are. I just noticed one. Oh. oh. Uh. That's a tongue? No. They just got Ghostbusters slimed. Oh my gosh. That was an amazing scene. <laughs> I like this duo. Well. Oh. Is that her shoe? Yeah. <gasps> the head! Wow. You're gonna want to go back to the Brotherhood with that head right away? <laughs> Look at them. Oh, dude. Oh, it's so good. I love this duo. I hope nothing bad happens to them. And I hope nothing changes if he does find out that's Maximus in there. I don't know if that's gonna be Sorry, water. Please. I need water. Please. No, oh, it does look like water. Please. I think he can drink radiated water, though. That, 
Wow, that's messed up. And I thought coming into this show, the ghoul would be a likable guy. So far, definitely not. Ah. Uh, everywhere, not a drop of drink. Vault shelter. Wow. He does not like the vaults. Because he wasn't invited. He had a uniform for one. Was he in the commercials as a vault boy? Oh, is he like promoting the vaults and commercials? With the thumb is up, that's what the thumb is? <gasps> but he was never actually invited into one. No way. I even pointed out at the beginning, his, his costume was blue and yellow. So it was all based on him. His, his, oh my gosh, that's crazy. His hair just wasn't blonde, so I didn't ever think of him as a vault boy. What if, uh, what if I do were to do like a thumbs up? Go for it, Coop. You call them Coop? That's amazing. And all I gotta do is act naturally. <laughs> Show the pit boy at the end, or the vault boy. No, okay. I wish it kind of just like faded into that. Oh, uh, oh, it kind of is right here. Yeah, oh, there's, it's him in half. That's so good. What a good twist. Or like, yeah, I don't know if you call it a twist, but that's the thumb thing. That's what he's popular for. Okay, it all makes sense. <laughs> Dang, that's so messed up that he has a real hate for that now. I wonder if he was on any of the applications to like go into a vault, but I mean, obviously we saw where he got bombed. He didn't have time to make it to a vault, but I wonder if he actually was on one. It's so sad at the beginning of Fallout 4 when the guy signs you up for the vault and everything and you're running towards the vault. He's first in line there and he's not invited in. He's not on the list, but he's getting everyone else in. Oh, that feels like his character kind of right now. Crazy. Yeah, the whole thing at the beginning, like they made it in your colors. I saw the vault uniform. I just didn't really comment on it, but I pointed out his cowboy outfit was the same colors. So great bookend there for the episode and just kind of for the beginning of the series. This was probably the most fun episode for me. Uh, just I feel like Thaddeus's introduction seeing how Maximus reacts to that situation having a squire with him um, Trying to force out Force Thaddeus to say something bad about Maximus, which was my first initial reaction to the squire dropping down in Philly I was like, oh, he's gonna instantly talk trash about Maximus, right since he just died But no, he's like super loyal and everything to him um, Not knowing of course that he's Maximus yet, but Wonder if he would still stay loyal if he did know? I don't know. But yeah, he just got introduced here as not a, a bully that we knew from camp, but just a super loyal servant to, to the knight. And Maximus kind of learns here that he needs someone with him to save him. He needs, he actually needs help on this journey and can't do everything himself. So it's fun that we get to see that through Maximus. Also just top-notch CG on the monster here. Maybe even some of it being practical, or a lot of it. But yeah, never once looked off at all. Just perfect. This journey is also just a really fun one to go on from a vault dweller's perspective. Seeing how, like, she's talking about these golden rules of, like, how to treat other people, like kindergarten stuff, basically. She just feels like a elementary school kid going to war here basically that's what it feels like <laughs> which is a crazy thing to say but i mean it's true she's all smiles and like treat others how, how you would want to be treated uh but she's out here in the fallout wasteland just totally doesn't fit in at all but is somehow making it through yeah i can't wait to see her grow through it and see what she becomes by the end of this she actually reminds me a lot of and i feel like her journey is going to be this way but the movie if you've ever seen it ready or not i feel like she's just going to start out as this lucy that we know and by the end she's going to be like covered in blood just having killed a lot of people maybe it's not going to turn out that way but uh that's how i hope her character turns out also uh, wondering where the ghoul is taking her why not just kill her like he has to be using her as a bargaining chip or something right she shattered all of his drugs that he needs. I guess he didn't just kill her on the spot, but yeah, I guess she'd be a good bargaining chip to use to buy more of that stuff. Anyways, Maximus and Thaddeus got uh, the doctor's head. 
So that'll be interesting to see what they do with that. Whether he keeps going after Lucy or brings the head back to the Brotherhood. I don't know. I feel like he's kind of rogue right now and not going to go back to the Brotherhood at all. But he still wants the head. Maybe to... He doesn't know about why Lucy would want it. So I don't think he'd keep going after her. But he did seem interested in her. Who knows? But I'm excited for the next episode. Definitely let me know your thoughts on this one down below in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed, dislike if you dislike it. If you haven't already, definitely consider subscribing. We're on the road to 20,000 subs in 2024. If you want to watch early episodes of certain shows on the channel or help support the channel in the biggest way, you can hit the join button to become a member and do that. And yeah, that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next one.